Hi, in this lecture we will see the diagonal view of a binary tree. So if you talk about the diagonal view, then if you look you are looking from this direction, then you can consider it as going from top left till bottom right, that is from this till this direction. So the basic concept is that the data will be printed in diagonal way. So as you can see, if you are looking from this direction, then 2, 7 and 21 will come as a diagonal view. Then in the next time 5, 9 and 6 will come. Then again in the next time 11 and 4 will come like this. 2, 7 and 21 is here. 2, 7 and 21. Then we have 5, 9 and 6. That is 5, 9, 6. Same as the second line. And then we have 11 and 4 as a diagonal view. You can go with this direction also like 2, 5 and 11. Then 7 and 4. Then 21, 9. Then 6. So I am going in left uh, you can say right, uh, left, top left and bottom right, this direction. So for that, I need to store the data that is at what distance this top left direction is there. So the basic concept is that we will take a slope. To take a slope, either we will take the first iteration in the left direction and append the distance from the root node with 1. And if I go with the right direction, then we will not append the distance. So the slope will be uh, calculated on the basis of that only. So if I tell you in the code, I will first take a map to store the distance from the center. That is, it will take integer. And after taking the integer, I will take any data like linked list to store the data in that distance in a diagonal way. So suppose this is the center and if I am going with the slope, then the slope for 2, 7 and 20 will be same and 5, 9 and 6 will be same and 11, 4 will be same. So that will be stored in the key and all the data like 2, 7 and 21 will be stored in the linked list for first slope and for integer equals 2, that is second slope, 5, 9 and 6 will be stored then 11 and 4 will be stored in the next linked list. This will happen in the code. So linked list will be taking the data as integer and it will be a map only. So I'll mark it as a map called new linked list linked hash map. So the basic thing is to provide the slope and the distance in one direction only that is either in the left or in the right. So we'll do that only in and I'll call a function get diagonal and inside this I'll pass the map and I'll pass the root node which is the head node or you can say root node and I'll pass the center initially as 0 that is which is at this 0 distance from the center. After doing this I will print the map for printing map I will get the linked list from the map pull all the linked list from the map so I'll call linked list it will be a linked list of integer I'll mark it as linked list and it will be called from map dot values and inside this I will simply call for loop because I am going to print the integer so I will call int i call on linked list and it will pull the data from the linked list and give me the desired result so it will be just a kind of sysout function and I will not call ln to print the data of for a particular linked list in the same line See, for a particular distance, one sort of linked list will be there. For a particular next distance, a set of data in the linked list will be there. That is what we are doing. For a particular, you can say value of map, key value of the map will be there, which will be a linked list. And all the data inside the linked list will pull out and print it. And after pulling the data from the linked list, we will just call the sysout function to change the line. So inside this, I will be printing this i value with uh, mark it as a comma separated only to match our desired output of the given data. So I will create this function here, create this function. So since I created this function inside this, first thing is that is first and foremost thing inside any tree data such as to check if the root is null or not. So if root equals equals null, then simply return. Otherwise, you need to check that map does, contains this distance or mark it as distance. 
from the initial point it contains any linked list or not if it does not contain any linked list then create a linked list and add the root data so i will check if not map dot contains key for this distance then simply i will call a linked list function and i'll create a linked list collection and insert the root data in it so i'll create a linked list that is integer linked list equals new linked list <clears throat> and inside this linked list i'll add this root data and i'll add this linked list add in the given map with the key as the distance from the initial point so distance is the same distance which is coming in the, in the function and add the linked list so it will be a kind of put function for the map else what i will do it if it contains this linked list i'll simply call map dot get with that distance and simply add the root data because linked list is already created at that distance so if it is it does not contain any linked list with that distance then i am creating a linked list and adding in it first time for every distance a linked list will be required and which will be inserted inside this map key value pair and if it contains then i will simply add the root data in that linked list that's it the main catch is here if you are uh, going for left view or, by, or right view is that get distance function if i will call diagonal function this same function which i am calling here if i will call this get diagonal function and call the root dot left and it will be a map to store the distance from the center then you will see that every time we, if we are going in the left direction we are subtracting minus 1 and if you are going in the right direction then you are appending plus 1 but here you need to append plus 1 only to store the data of that uh, you can say diagonal view it will be get diagonal so again get diagonal view there but the concept is if you are going in the left direction then append plus 1 but if you are going in the right direction no need to append this data so this is the slope which we are calling that is in left direction if one is iterating then a slope is required so just append plus one but in right direction it is not required so just leave it as it is this is the one line change between you can say one or two line change between the left view right view or diagonal view if you are going in the uh, you can say left view or iteration then just append minus one if you are going in the rightmost view then append this right as a minus one if you are going in the diagonal view then append this plus one and leave right as, as it is that's it we need to store the distance in the slope view so i think we are done with it we have created a map to store the distance uh, along of the slope and also the linked list for that particular slope which will store the tree data and we have called this function inside this function we have checked whether the root is null if it is null then just return otherwise check whether the map contains linked list for that distance or not if it contains then we are just appending it the data if it does not contain then we are creating a linked list and appending the data then we are going in a slope way that is for left we have appending appended plus one in the distance but in the right direction we are not appending anything so it's a kind of slope so just after this our map is filled with all the data and for each slope we are getting the linked list with map dot values and we are just pulling out all the data from the linked list and printing the data in that line and we are just changing the line to get the another data in the next line that is 2721 will come in the first line 596 will come in the next line and 114 will come with the in the next line using this so if i run this function 2721 596 114 is coming as you can see 2721 596 114 is coming so this is about how we can create a linked list and append in the map and get the diagonal view of a binary tree. Thank you all.
for watching the video.